BU in its own zone. Playing it up. And a shot by Esposito. Couldn't convert, but an excellent opportunity off the turnover. Is it in? No, no, no. Off the netting. Off the netting. The whistle play was blown dead for a few seconds. Nobody could really find it. One official had recognized it had gone off the netting. Esposito takes the Escobedo. Try saying that a few times fast. Pass through the middle of the ice area and puts it to the net. So a turnover there that Cornell had an excellent chance on. We'll check this out now, Billy, I think. Well, the, the, the land's not giving up any information, that's for it sure. It doesn't matter. The play was blown dead. Well, they're obviously checking it out. Esposito took the shot. And let's take a look, Billy, from up top here. It bounces off the back, and the netting, I saw it. Oh, I guess I thought I saw it go off the netting. Now the oh, puck comes this. way all the way down, off from the land. Whoa! Whoa! But are they saying that if, if they said that it hit the netting, then it doesn't matter. The puck is out of play, and it's blown dead. Right. Watch this again now here. Esposito the shot. Okay. Goes up. Now it hits the dasher. Does it hit the netting? I thought it hit the netting and then bounced back. See the official. Well, the official. He doesn't. He really doesn't know where it is. This referee back here doesn't know where. Doesn't know where the puck goes off. So it's the back referee. Unless the back referee is saying. See now he's saying it points up that it hit up top. Crowd getting revved up as we await. Obviously a critical call. Jack Parker has his bunch. In front of them there. Interesting sequence here to try and sort out. All right, so the call on the ice is no goal. Watch it again, Billy. Let's see if we have a different angle here to show if it hits the netting or not. Cross part, and then I thought it hit off the netting as it skipped up off the top of the glass. Milan has no idea where the puck is. Quite honestly, nobody does at that time. We're all waiting for it to drop, and then it drops, but it, it goes in. Let's watch when this. When does the whistle again. blow? Maybe we can get a, a listen live. Up. Where is it? Where is it? Well, now it's, it's coming down. All right, take a listen in here on this one. The whistle is blown. The play is in the referee in the, the in my opinion here, the referee blew the play dead. Because he did not he lose sight. Should it have been blown? Doesn't dead. matter. It is. If you lose sight of the puck and you don't know where it is, that's the call. You it, it, it's look, like, it's okay, puck is it shot hit the cross bar and went up. Doesn't correct? matter. Exactly. The referee loses sight of the puck. He doesn't know where it is. So he thinks the play is blown dead. What they have to judge now here is whether the puck was in the net before he blew it dead or not. Maybe one more time we can run it with full sound and see exactly when or as close to exactly when the puck crosses the line before the whistle ends. I think Intent blew this play dead. Let's listen again as we roll it for you. I think the whistle's blown before the puck goes into the net. And again, I think the play, the intent so is it, to be blown it dead. It's a crossbar, goes straight up, comes down, and hits Milan. I don't the know if it went straight in. up. I still think it went off the glass or the netting back there. It, it's tight netting here at, at MSG. Wow, this is an interesting sequence to say the least. One more listen. Whistle blew before. Yeah, and then it goes off the shoulder. But you cannot, I mean, you could not throw a puck from five feet away and, he, and, and have it land any more perfect. See, you can see right there, assistant coach Davis is saying to head coach Jack Parker, it should be no goal because the play was blown to even. And here's the other thing. Jack's saying, I've been at this 39 years. I've never seen anything like this before. Intent. There's also a thing called intent. 
And when an official blows, even, even if the puck has gone into the net simultaneously, but if he's bringing his hand up to blow the whistle, it's intent to blow the play dead. Therefore, no goal. That's a call, no goal. It's the right call. Whether, you know, Cornell fans aren't not gonna, happy. No, they're not going to like it, but it's the right call because the intent of the official there was to blow the play dead since he had lost sight of the puck. I think he either gone out or he lost sight of it. Again, you don't like it, but it's the right call. One more time, let's listen. So it goes up. It doesn't matter what it hits or what it doesn't hit. Think about this. Think about the, this is an example. When there's a scramble around the net, the puck is laying free in the crease, but yet the referee blows the play deck because he's on the other side and he can't see it. Why does he do it? Because he can't see the puck. That's his job when he loses sight of it to blow the play dead. This is no different. This just happens to be a freaky bounce either off the glass or off the netting behind it and then into the net. That's, there's no different here. He loses sight of it thinking it goes out. Look at this. Puck is, it's a clear, it's absolutely, the rep, that replay with the full sound okay. is absolutely so Clearly the whistle enough. blows. Right. Play dead. Should it have blown? Does it? Yes, because he lost sight All of right. it. Mike Schaefer. It's irrelevant of whether, yeah. it, that, having been an NCAA hockey official myself, I've been in this situation when you lose sight of the puck. Right there, he's saying, I lost sight of it, play dead, and he's in a point saying it hit up off the netting. Regardless of whether it hits the netting or not, doesn't matter. He blew the play dead. All right. So that, that's the ruling here with exactly four minutes to go.